All right, we've got Emma's uh, accounting practice, offers uh, accounting services. The business is owned and managed by Emma Moneybags, and she's provided the following account information. And we've got a list of information in relation to some accounts for Emma. Uh, we've also got some information about depreciation, and this has not been recorded for the year ended 30th of June 2014. The motor vehicles are depreciated using straight line basis. They have a scrap value of 6,000 and expected useful life of five years. The computer equipment is depreciated using the reducing balance method at a rate of 25% per annum. First question, prepare a classified income statement for the year ended 30th of June 2014. Okay, first things we need to do, before we actually do this, we need to make some calculations. So when I'm doing an income statement and a balance sheet, What's the first thing I need to do? Classify, yeah. And what are we classifying into? We've got income, we've got expenses, we've got current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity. So those are my classifications that I have to make. First thing I need to do. So let's go and do that. Okay, prepaid rent. What is it? Current asset. What about stationary supplies expense? This is easy. Yeah, expense. Accrued revenue. Current asset. Um, office computer equipment repairs expense. Easy, easy expense it tells me. Accumulated depreciation for my equipment. A negative non-current asset, yep. This reduces my assets. Uh, here's an easy one, this one's expense, I'll do that. What about staff wages payable? Current liability. Drawings? Equity. Accounts payable? Current liability. Motor vehicle expense? Rent expense, easy. Accumulated depreciation for motor vehicles <coughs> minus non-current asset. Interest payable, current liability. Cash, current asset. Accounts receivable, current asset. Office computer equipment, non-current asset. Loan from the Big Reputation Bank, repayable in full in September 2017. NCL, non-current liability. Capital, which we don't know the figure for, is? Equity. Staff wages. Expense. Motor vehicles. Non-current asset. And fees revenue. Income. So we've done the hard bit now. But the other thing we need to do is we need to do these depreciation calculations down here. So let's do those depreciation calculations first. Okay. Now, depreciation, we got uh, motor vehicles. So my motor vehicles are using straight line. Now my straight line depreciation is my cost minus my residual divided by my life. And that's in your um, formula sheet. So that equals, what's my cost of my motor vehicles? My motor vehicles are 58,500. Less my residual value, scrap value of 6,000. And it's telling me that I've got a useful life of five years. So he's faster than the calculator for that one. How much? 10500 or 10500 Okay, that's good. All right, the computer equipment is depreciated using a reducing balance method at a rate of 25%. So reducing balance method, 
Oh dear. <laughs> Equals my cost minus accumulated depreciation times my rate. So that's how I calculate my reducing balance. So what's my cost for my computer equipment? Office computer equipment is 29,000 minus, where's my accumulated depreciation for computer equipment? 1,600 times my rate, which was 25%. How much does that equal? 6,850. 6,850. So what I can do is I can now adjust my accumulated depreciation for my computer equipment and I add in another 6,850, makes 7,800, uh, 7, 8,450. And I'm going to put a note down here, computer depreciation is 6,850. And my motor vehicle depreciation will be, what do we calculate that at? 10,500. And I need to adjust my depreciation for motor vehicles to, what was it, 25,500. Is that all good? Yep. Is everyone okay with what I just did then? Did it too fast? You want me to repeat it? No? 